What's up guys, my name is Jake, and a couple days ago I posted a video of myself playing The Witcher 3 and Team Fortress 2, and today we're actually going to go over exactly how you can get those running yourselves on your M1 machine. So the software that we're going to use today is called Crossover 20. Now if you want to convert Windows software using Crossover, I highly recommend you go to their website, you click the drop down menu, and then you go to app compatibility. You can search for any app that you are looking to translate and it will tell you, it'll give you a star rating of either, you know, zero or five stars. If it's really good um, so I would highly recommend searching for the games you want to play or the software that you want to use and see if it can be translated properly and just so you know crossover for Mac is $40 for one-time purchase or you can pay 60 for 12 months worth of updates but anybody can download a 14-day free trial to go and test it out for themselves okay so now that we've downloaded crossover we are going to go and open it up just install it. You'll get this little window pop up and you can try it now. So your menu is probably going to look a little bit different. Yours won't have these, uh, these programs in there, but we're going to install them now. You see on the left side that we have all of the bottles and basically what a bottle is, is it's an environment to run software. So if you want to run a Steam game inside of the bottle, you have to install the dependencies so that it can run inside that bottle. So all you have to do to install Steam is we can come down here and click install a Windows application and you can search for Steam. And uh, you can see it pops up here. It's got four stars. It runs well. And we're going to click continue now. What's going to happen is it's going to skip over the select installer. It's going to download the Steam installer for you, so you don't have to do anything in that regards, but you are going to want to select the bottle. So you can see in the compatible bottles, you get a, win a new Windows 64-bit, new Windows 8 64-bit, and a new Windows 10 64-bit. Uh, so for me, the way I got The Witcher 3 was I did a new Windows 10 64-bit bottle and clicked continue. And then we can install. And it's going to run through this process and it's going to go install Steam, the translated version, on your Mac. You might get a couple pop-ups along the way and if you do, all you have to do is click yes or accept the terms and all of that stuff. On this pop-up, the Microsoft XML parser setup, you don't have to fill anything out, you can just click next. And here we go with the Steam install now. All you have to do is click through, set it up, and click finish. All right, now that the installation is complete, all we have to do is click done, and you should see that a new Steam bottle opened up. See, I already have it, I already had it installed, so mine's called Steam 2, but yours will just be called Steam. And you can see, if we just go ahead and double click Steam, it should open. The only real, uh, the only bug I found with the with the Steam install is that initially you can't click and input your account name. You have to click like in this area a couple times, and then eventually it'll click, and then you're fine after that. I don't know. It's just a weird weird bug. Okay, and then you can just log in like you normally would onto Steam. All right, and after you finish logging in, you can see that everything appears to be normal, pops up. Check out the library, everything is there. If you try and run it just by installing the game, it actually, uh, it's gonna come up with an error that the GPU is, uh, is unable to run the game, basically. So we're actually gonna come and right click on our Steam Bottle software environment, and we're going to install software into it. And what we're going to want to install is called DXVK. And what this does is it installs a translation layer for Vulkan. Uh, so basically, it's going to allow your GPU to be able to render the game properly on Mac. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. And we're going to search for DirectX for modern games. And we're going to go ahead and install that as well. So the Vulkan and the DirectX should cover your bases for pretty much most software games that you're going to want to run. All right, now that that's done, you can just click OK. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to right click this 
and we're gonna click we're gonna go into our settings and we're going to click DXVK backend for D3 D11 and from there you are good to go you can launch the game so if I go ahead and open that up we can go ahead and launch the Witcher 3 and Team Fortress 2 and a bunch of other games that are also compatible here we got the Witcher 3 we click play will it launch yes it will there we go and here we go we got the witcher 3 running beautifully i mean i'm still astonished at how well this game runs because it's not it's not like it's that easy <laughs> you know um sure the resolution's kind of low but we are getting consistent frames and uh, minimal stuttering. The only thing is you cannot get the Steam overlay to work in The Witcher 3 um, for whatever reason. That's got to be uh, uh, some sort of glitch going on, but that's okay. Uh, it's no big deal. And uh, here we are. You can see we're in the environment. Oh, and uh, we're about to enter a battle. Um, but yeah, this is that's basically it. Uh, I'm not even watching the game. I'm talking to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more stuff just like this. I hope this guy's helped you play some games, enjoy it, and um, that's all I got for today. Peace.